Hello, my dear apprentices. In this video, I'm going to show you how to subtract a mixed number from another mixed number. Okay, let's uh, just review. Remember, a mixed number is a number that has the a whole number and a fraction. For example, this one right here, the whole number is four and the fraction is two sevenths. That makes it a mixed number. Okay, so we're gonna work on this problem. And um, let me get my tools here. All right, so here is, this is one thing about, okay, one thing that you have to remember is when we're doing this, finding the common denominators, okay, because the denominators are different. So we have to find the common denominators. And when we do that, we got to make sure that we keep the fractions, the mixed numbers in the same order. For example, this is um, the order. This is first, right? This That's uh, the first one. And the second one is this one, okay? So when we are doing these subtractions, we have to keep that order in that manner. Here's why, because if you switch and you write the number two, this, if you write that three and one third first, and then you write the four and two sevenths second, that is not gonna be able to be subtracted. The first number has to be greater than the second one. All right, having said that, let's look at, notice that we have two whole numbers. We have four and three. We can quickly say that four, um, and three, the difference is one. So there is a one. And we're going to write it in front of the equal sign. That's where the answer should be. Now, we have two fractions. We have two sevenths, two sevenths, and we also have one third. And notice that they are both uh, um, uh, have a different denominator. So what we do, we multiply uh, the two sevenths times the denominator, the opposite denominator. Okay, so what does that mean? Okay, so the two sevenths is going to multiply, insert that multiplication symbol, and it's going to be multiplied by uh, the denominator, denominator three. Now remember, the numerator of this number has to be the, the denominator as well. So it has to be a three over three. Do not use the one that is above the three. You, you only have to do multiplying the two sevenths times three over three, because remember that equals one and that does not change the value of the fraction. So when we do the math here, two times three equals six and seven times three equals 21. Okay, so we have the first fraction and that goes right next to the one. Okay, we're going to write it down, 6, 21. <clears throat> All right, now, so now we have substituted this fraction and we switched it and changed it, changed it to this equivalent fraction with a denominator that is going to be like the second fraction's denominator. Okay, so now we're going to multiply. One third is multiplied by the opposite denominator, which, which is seven. So let's do that. Multiply. And the denominator is going to multiply the numerator, which is going to be the seven by seven, and the den denominator by seven. Once you do that, the multiplication is one times seven equals seven, and three times seven equals 21. There you have it, my friends. Now we're going to set up this one right here. That should be a minus sign. And we're going to do 721. Okay. Here is where we need to be very careful. Notice that, uh, let me just move this to the side. This, um, finding the common denominators already served its purpose. And let's just, let me just review one more thing. Remember, Two sevenths is the same thing as six twenty-ones because we multiplied it by one, which is three over three. And one third is the same as seven twenty-ones 
is just a different way to write the same fraction because we multiplied it by one, which is seven divided by seven equals 21. I mean, equals one. Now, here is the next step. We cannot subtract uh, seven from six. So now we have to borrow. How do we borrow? Here's what happens. We're gonna bring this down and we're gonna read we're going to rewrite that one as a as a fraction and what is going to be the fraction okay well the fraction that is going to represent the one has to be a fraction that has a denominator of 21. so guess what that helps a lot because all you got to do is write a 21 as the denominator that equals one now once we get that part, we can add the 6 21s that was next to it. 6 21. Okay, remember, let me just review it really quickly. All we did is convert this mixed number into this fraction that is going to be, we're going to add it in a moment. Okay, so now after that is the minus, minus 7 27 21st. And we're going to total that. Okay. So now remember, we're going to do this, this part first. So we're going to rewrite this 21 plus 6 equals 27. 27 over 21, which is the denominator, minus 721. Okay. All right. So remember, this is the total of those, those two numbers. And then we subtract that number. Now notice that we can subtract seven from 27 and the answer should be 20 on that denominator. And the denominator should be 21, okay? So this will be your answer for this particular problem, 20 21s. So we're gonna write the answer here on the question and that will equals 20, no, 20, 21s okay um and these two we cannot simplify these numbers because 20 can be divided by 2 but 21 cannot be divided by 2. let me show you let me show you what i mean to simplify we have to divide both numbers by the same number that 20 can be divided by 2 and that 21 can be divided by 3. this is not possible this will change this whole fraction. The only way to simplify is, this, is by multiplying this fraction by the same numerator and the same denominator. In this case, we can now simplify because that those two numbers are that don't allow us to divide them by the same number. Okay? Make sure you watch this video again and repeat it and stop it and review it and ask questions when you are in class with your teacher so he can help you. Your coach is signing out.